in this video uh, we will be discussing how to work out problems under the head income from other sources before watching this video if you did not watch the video where i am explaining what is income from other sources what is the provisions of the various incomes that will be charged under this head do watch that video first and then come back to this video for a better understanding i have posted the link in the description box now let's move on to this video See, I have taken this question. Uh, the first statement in the question is family pension. It is given as family pension received from government of Karnataka. So, as I already explained in my previous video, family pension is taxable. So, I am writing it in the particulars column. In the particulars column, we have to write family pension. Whatever the amount is given, write it in the inner column. Don't take the amount to the outer column. Family pension, always write the amount in the inner column because you have to claim standard deduction. What is the standard deduction? Whatever amount is given here, whatever amount is given here, on that amount you have to calculate 1 by 3. So, 30,000 into 1 by 3 will give you 10,000. On this 10,000, you have to compare 15,000, which is the provision. One third is the provision rule and also 15,000 is the rule, the maximum amount. So, whatever family pension that is given in the question, write it in the inner column. On that value, calculate 1 by 3. You will get one answer. With this answer, you compare 15,000. Whichever is less, bring it to the inner column. Here, 10,000 is the least value. So, I am bringing it to the inner column. Deducted taxable family pension is 20,000 rupees. So, family pension is very simple and easy. Whatever amount is given as family pension, write it in the inner column. Standard deduction is whatever pension is given in the question. On that value, you calculate 1 by 3. You will get one answer. With that answer, you compare 15,000. Whichever is less, bring it to the inner column. Deduct it, bring the answer to the outer column. This is the taxable family pension. Then the next is royalty received from publisher is 50,000 and the amount of rupees 5,000 has been spent. So, this is also a taxable income. In the particular column, we are writing royalty. In the inner column, we are writing 50,000. We are writing it in the inner column because we have one expenses here. So, deduct the expenses. Expenses amount is 5,000 rupees. Deduct it. Bring the answer to the outer column. 45,000 rupees. Okay. Then, winnings from lotteries. Lotteries is a casual income. As soon as you see a casual income statement, you have to think of grossing up. When will we gross up? As I already told in my previous video, we will gross up when the words net or received is given. In this question, the word net is given. So, we have to gross it up. How to gross it up? Into 100 divided by 70. So, in the particular column, we will write winnings from lotteries and within bracket, 56,000 is the winnings from lotteries into 100 divided by 70, 80,000 in the outer column. So, when you see a casual income statement, you have to check whether the words net or received is given. If the word net or received is not given, write the amount directly in the outer column. If the word net or received is given, you have to gross it up. How will you gross up into 100 divided by 70? Okay, and expenses is given, purchase lottery tickets 200. For casual income, you cannot deduct expenses. So, we are not claiming this 200 rupees. Then the next is dividend from foreign company. Dividend from foreign company is taxable. So, dividend from foreign company, write it in the particular column and bring 10,000 rupees to the outer column. Then salary for part-time job. So, here it is salary income. Whether you are a full-time employee or part-time employee, you will have employer-employee relationship. So, this income will go to the head salaries. This income will go to the head salaries. Here it is not taxable. So, we are putting a dash in the amount column. Then dividend from cooperative society is taxable under the head income from other sources only. So, I am writing the amount in the outer column. Then 
cash worth rupees 1 lakh was found in the previous year in the bank locker the source of which could not be explained so the assessor is uh, having a cash but he is not able to explain from where he has earned the income he is not able to tell whether it is salary income house property business or profession or capital gain so we are bringing it to the head other sources we are writing 1 lakh in the outer column then income from subletting house taken on rent rupees 5000 rent paid 3000 rupees so here you have two values one is 5000 and the other is 3000 you should identify which is income and which is expense see the house is taken on rent 5000 rent paid is 3000 so 5000 is income and 3000 is expense so in the particular column we will write income from subletting and write the income in the inner column from the income you have to deduct expenses the expenses rent paid 3000 rupees write it in the inner column deduct it bring 2000 rupees to the outer column so this is how your answer will look like see i have given a title whenever you are working out a problem under income tax you have to give a title computation of taxable income under the head income from other sources particulars column and two amount columns we will work out all the calculations in the inner column bring the final answer to the outer column the total income from other sources is 2 lakh 80000 rupees this is another important uh, topic under income from other sources you have to know whether this is a taxable income when you should gross it up how you will gross it up all these things i have explained in my previous video i will just uh, brief you on this tax free government securities is exempted it is an exempted income less tax government security is taxable tax free commercial security is taxable less tax commercial security is taxable so out of the four categories of interest only tax free government security is exempted all the others are taxable okay the next thing you have to decide is will you gross up so the answer is for less tax government securities is no you will not gross up there is no grossing up at all for tax free commercial security you must gross up you have to gross up for less tax commercial security you will gross up only when the words net or received is given okay so tax free government security exempted less tax government security is taxable you don't have to there is no point there is no now you don't have to gross it up tax free commercial security it is taxable you must gross up less tax commercial security taxable you will gross up only when net or received is given in the question okay after this you have to see uh, you have to identify whether as a security as a tax free less tax or tax free commercial or less tax commercial so for that i have given you certain keywords if the words national chief minister prime minister post office gold treasury or specifically it is given as tax free government security then it will come under tax free government security if the words national chief minister prime minister post office gold or treasury or the word tax free specifically present then we will categorize that security as a tax free government security so simply the word central government and state government is given you will classify that as a less tax government security commercial security is very easy name of a company will be given name of a company if the name of the company is given and also the word tax free is specifically given it is a tax free commercial security on the other hand if the name of the company is given and the word tax free is not given it is a less tax commercial security so only if you are clear uh, about all these concepts you will be able to work out the answer now let us see a question mr x made the following investments interest is due on 1st january and 1st july okay 8% 10000 tax free government of india loan so the word tax free government of india loan is given 
isn't it so it is tax free government security in the amount column you will write it as exempted this is an exempted income okay then next is 9.5% secured debentures of cotton mills cotton mills is name of a company tax free word is not present here so this is a less tax commercial security less tax commercial security is taxable and you have to gross up only when net or received is given look here net or received is not given in this statement so you don't have to gross it up so you calculate the answer 10000 is the amount of debenture into 9.5 percentage the answer that you get is 950 write it in the amount column then the next is 36000 10 percentage tax free debentures of raymond mills limited name of the company is given tax free word is also present so this is a tax free commercial security it is a taxable income you must gross it up so how will you gross up 36000 into 10 percentage into 100 divided by 92.5 i hope you remember this formula i told you in my previous video itself 13th may is your base date if the interest is paid before 13th may then the formula is 100 divided by 90 if the interest is paid after 13th may the formula is 100 divided by 92.5 okay now when the interest is due it is due on 1st january and 1st july july will also come after may and january will also come after may so it is 100 divided by 92.5 Calculate the answer you get is 3892. You are getting it in points. I am just rounding it off. Okay. Then the next is 4000 received as interest on UP government. UP government is state government. So this is less tax government security. You don't have to gross it up. It is a taxable income. You don't have to gross it up. Write 4000 rupees in the amount column. The next is interest on post office savings account. Post office is a keyword. See, for tax free government security, I told if the word post office is present, it is a tax free government security. So, the word post office is here. So, this is a tax free government security, and tax free government security is an exempted income. I am writing exempted in the amount column. Next is 3600 received as interest on. Paper mills, paper mills name of a company is given. Tax free word is not given, only name of a company is there. So this is a less tax commercial security. The word received is given, so we have to gross it up. See, less tax commercial security will be grossed up only when the words net or received is given in the question. Here received is given, so we have to gross it up. And the date of interest is 1st May. 1st May means before 13th may so the formula is 100 divided by 90 so we will calculate like this 3600 into 100 divided by 90 4000 rupees in the amount column so if you find the total of the outer column you will get the total interest from uh, the total income from other sources so hope you found this video useful thank you for watching